The theme today is destruction and resilience. So clearly that glowing portrait that you painted of a company that really seemed prophetic had its ups and downs in many iterations. We're gonna to get to some of those iterations. So I was always focused on building something great um, from the ground up um, and really didn't know the space that I wanted to be in. It has been put in the minds of so many people at this point that they need to raise insane amounts of money to be successful. And it's, I just don't think it's true. I think just a little, a little bit of ingenuity and grit and hard work uh, will, will get you there. Between 2001 and now, yeah. there was another crisis. Yes, and so, so many crises along the way, but the, the, big, the big daddy crisis. Yeah, Crimea. Um, right, was in Crimea. So long story short, the region gets annexed by Russia. We spend six months going from being a Ukrainian company to all of the craziness that is becoming a Russian company. So you basically, you're staying in the same place, but your country has changed around you. So citizenship, papers, you know, all of the corporate stuff that has to happen, currency, just crazy stuff that you could never imagine. And uh, once all that was finished, um, we found out by looking on the internet randomly on, I think it was December 19th, that uh, the United States had sanctioned American companies in the region. So we weren't allowed to operate there legally anymore. When you get a setback, you know, you get up the next day, do you just want to put the covers back over your head? And how do you, how do you fight against that? Well, I use the, the term existential change, as yeah. in if you don't change, you don't exist. Um, so you change. Without a lot of venture funding, um, you have a very clear understanding of what you need to do to make money. And you don't really have an option to go a month or two without collecting money because you have to pay people. Um, so unless you go and uh, um, raise outside money, ultimately what you need to do is focus on how you're going to operate your business on a cash positive basis, not even on a profitable basis, but on a cash, cash flow positive basis so that you can actually make payroll and make sure that all your employees are paid on time. And, and I think that that is a much harder way to run a company. Um, it requires much more discipline. Um, and it requires actually being much more patient. The risks that you are allowed to take are fewer and farther between, and you have to be much more steady state in terms of how you grow that company. Ba back in like 2003, 2004, poker became like a thing, that it was on television and stuff, it was very odd. But, um, but suddenly everybody wanted poker, uh, and we were one of the few companies that had it and hadn't kind of taken it offshore and, and done gambling around, like mm -hmm. real money gambling around it. And one so phone call can literally change the course of your life and the course of your business. And that was and that was the phone call we got from them saying, this is RJ Reynolds Tobacco Company. Do you have poker software? And we said, yes, sir, we do. <laughs> so the lesson here, folks, is that not only do you need a little bit of luck, perhaps from time to time, but that it's okay to lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think you have a little bit, of, you have to have a little bit of luck, but you also have to be smart enough to recognize when you are getting lucky and hold on and make it happen.